So here I am in my cozy couch cardigan. Today I decided to be outside, not on the couch, but on the bed in the outside, because the cozy couch cardigan is also perfect to be wearing outside. I've seen people that wear them to the football stadium on cold days. Um, they leave the bottom open then, so they can get up and walk. But some other people say, well, man, I really like it, but it's so hard to get out. How do I get out? Well, <laughs> very easy. You just open up the top, I think, three buttons. The first one right here. Yeah, three is enough. Here's the second one. Open this one. Here's the third button. You open that one. And then finally, you just... Wait, this button is giving me a hard time. Okay. So the third button is open. And you are out. Hood off. And sleeves off. I'm out. Just that simple. Couple of seconds. Okay, so I'm out of my cozy couch cardigan. And um, what I'm gonna show you in a little bit is how to put it together. I've gotten a couple of mails from people that are confused about how do I put my cozy couch cardigan together. And the reason why they get confused is because you have a front panel that's wide and a other front panel that's kind of narrow because this is where your buttons go on and it kind of folds over like this when you button it up. So instead of having it button in the middle, you have a button on the side. And this is when people get confused. But basically, it's the same as putting together any other kind of cardigan. It's just, um, this in this case, it's six pieces if you have a hood on it. So you have a sleeve, a sleeve on the sides. You have a front panel that's wide. You have a front panel that's narrow. And then you have your back panel, of course. So you have six pieces. I'm going to show you how to put it together in just a little bit. I'm going to make a miniature version and put it all together so you can see how easy it is to put your cozy couch cardigan together and sew it all in one beautiful piece. Okay, I'm out of the cozy couch cardigan. And as I promised you, I was going to show you how to put it all together. Now I've got all the ingredients laying right here, six pieces. I've got a back panel right here. Now, of course, I made it miniature because I'm not going to show the whole big thing, but I made it on skill. I've got a miniature back pattern. I've got a front panel, which is a little bigger than what you're used to. And this is where people get confused because it's not like a regular cardigan where it fits half and half. But this is almost all the way through. But you have this little small panel also right here. This is where your buttons go on in a little bit when I have it all sewn together. This is where your buttons go on. And then it goes like this, which you'll see in a minute. Okay, then we have our sleeves. This one right here, this is a sleeve. So this is number three, four, and this is your sleeve already sewed it together. And here you've got a nice little hood, which we will put on at the end. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you how to put all these six pieces together, but I'm not going to show you every stitch that I make. So I'm going to put this aside. And for now, I am going to put this front panel to the back panel. And I'm going to show and I'm going to sew this front panel to the back panel as well. I will start sewing the shoulders together. Now, the shoulders are about this width right here and right here. Then I will sew the sides together right here and I will leave enough space to put the sleeves in because they will come right here. Okay, so I will see you in a little bit and then I will have this front panel and this front panel sewn to the back panel. See you in a minute. So I've, we've sewn together the front pieces, front panels, the bigger one and the smaller one right here. I started at the shoulders right here, then I did the sides and I left a space for the sleeve right here and I did the other side and again I left a space for the sleeve right here. Now how far a sleeve uh, space for the sleeve do you leave? What I do is I take the sleeve and I line it up to the side and I know approximately 
what space I should leave right here. Now, sometimes it's not exact. Like right now, it's not exact. I've got this little bitty piece right here. I can always sew it up later on. But for right now, right now we're gonna sew the sleeve in. There's two ways that I think you should do it, or should, you can do it. You can either pin it with these little pins that are specially made for crocheting and uh, knitting. And I always do the first one on the top at the shoulder and right here at the sleeve. These kind of pins don't ruin your work. And then I go to the very bottom, to the armpit, and I pin that right there as well. Right like this. Now it's kind of in there, not really, but it's kind of in there. Now you can go and pin the entire side to make sure on the front and pin the entire side on the back. What I do is I usually take a different color yarn. I've got the gray one right here so you can tell a bit of the, the difference. Different color yarn with my special needle and I secure the bottom like this, not too tight because of course you're gonna remove this yarn later on. And then I just kind of like with big stitches go to the top where I have the other pin like this. Now it kind of looks ugly like this, but you know what I mean. You get to the top and once you get to the top of the, this is the front, yeah, of the front side, you turn it like this. And then you go from the top on the back side and sew in the back of the sleeve. Same way. Like this. Doesn't have to be very secure just to get it attached and to make it nice and neat. You'll go back over it in just a minute with the exact same color yarn, of course. And then you make it sit in there nice and neat and tight secure so i'm back in the armpit again let me remove the needle so you kind of have your sleeve in there i'm gonna leave it for right now because in a minute i'm gonna sew it with the same color thread not necessary at this point this is where people get confused where do i put the other sleeve well you put it just like you would if you had another regular front panel but in this case, you have this small front panel because this panel is a little larger. Same thing. We've sewn the side. I left open the space right here on the side. Here's my other sleeve. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did to this sleeve on this side. So let me see. This is the armpit right here. I'm going to take this pin, nice and purple. Stick it in the top, connect it to the shoulder. Then right here, I've got a fly. Then right here, on the armpit, I'm connecting it to the bottom, right here. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with this color yarn. Now, here, I have also a little bitty space that I didn't measure up quite right. But I'm also going to do that once the sleeve is in. I'm going to sew this little part up, and I'm going to sew this little part up. So I'm going to do it, and when, when I have them sewed in, I'm going to show you what it looks like in just a minute. Yeah. Okay, so we've got two sleeves. We have them in. We sewed them in both on the sides, right here on the small front panel, and right here on the bigger front panel. Now, I've already sewn one button on. These buttons are a little too big for this little miniature one that I'm making, but just to give you the idea. Um, the fun thing about this stitch is too that you don't have to make buttonholes. You just use this right here in between the cross big puff stitches and your button will go through like this. Now, I'm not going to sew them all on, but you can put four of them like, like right here too. It goes very nice and easy through the big cr cross uh, puff stitches. And what I also like is on the top right here, I like to fold that down so it looks a little bit neater and sew this closed 
like this. So what do we have left? We have left a hood right here. And I'm going to show you how to do that. You turn over your little garment, you get your hood. Now, it, I already folded it into a triangle right here. And on the bottom of the triangle, like it says in my pattern, you crochet a couple of double crochet rows. These rows right here are the ones that you are going to connect to the back. Now, what I do for the back is the same as what I do for my um, sleeves. You just pin them down and then sew them on with the different color yarn like this and then your regular yarn. Um, make sure you line it up nice and neat all the way in the middle. So this is your middle of your hood. It should line up right here in the middle of your back panel. This right here fits all the way across. If this happens to be a little bit bigger, sometimes it does, all you have to do is fold this around the shoulder and make it go like this. And then you connect it like that. So it's nice and neat and tight on your head, like so. Okay, I'm gonna sew it on so you'll get the idea what it looks like. Just a minute. Yeah. I sewed on the hood. Here it is. And you know what I also did? I flipped in the little pointed part I'm not too crazy about it when it just sticks out like a little point. So I flip the hood inside and I just kind of sew it in like this. But you might like a point, it doesn't matter. Prefer uh, personal preference. So here we've got a little miniature cozy couch cardigan. I guess I need to find somebody with a baby and then, then we can donate it to her or him. Um, now on mine, I have sewn the bottom closed, so it's like a sleeping bag. Uh, you can leave it open if you think that's easier for in getting in and out. But I showed you in the demonstration, it's very easy to get in and out. I've also seen some people that made a little flap right here, fold it over, and then you can put some buttons right here. So you can have it closed for your feet, or you can have it open. That's also a personal preference. And that's it. The cozy couch cardigan. Let's get cozy.